That's a good question because, of course, some of I'm sure a lot of us would like to know, but who who thought it was a good idea to give him a show? I, I know I, there's not a lot of you know bright people over there at um, MSNBC, but you know still like somebody had to think that this was a good idea. You don't do something unless you think it's a good idea. Somebody thought that hey, Al Sharpton having a show this would be this would be a good idea. Hey, you know, but <laughs> well, you know, um, the beginning to the matter at hand here. You know the the you know here here he is babbling on you know going on about Obama's his meeting with uh, Arizona Governor Jan Brewer and you know the the picture that's out there right now of. Uh, you know, her finger, you know, in the president's face and everything. And, you know, good old Al Sharpton <coughs> doing what he does best. Making it out to be, you know, something that it's not. You know, making this out to be some type of, you know, hating on the president. You know, racial. You In the, in the mind of Al Sharpton... You cannot disagree with Barack Obama in any way, shape, or form. If you do so, you are a racist or, you know, you are subconsciously a racist. Or, yeah, I mean, he said that too. But um, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, I just want you to play the clip, you know, the soundbite, you know, so that people can hear... You know, the ignorant, I, I hate listening to him, but, you know, we need to, people need to hear this, and then I'll elaborate more on it, and, yeah, it's all, it, it's it's always the same thing with this guy, and it's, and it's funny, because if, if racism didn't exist, or if racism was to just, like, disappear completely, he'd have to get a real job, exactly, so, you know, he's the poverty pimp. You know, he's the race car puller. That, that's what he does best. Go ahead and, um, yeah, and play, play the sound bite. Fenskipped? You felt threatened? What does that even mean, you felt threatened? By the President of the United States? This is yet another example of disrespect and delegitimatizing this president. Okay. Now... I've checked, okay, I've checked, and delegitimatizing is not a word. It's delegitimize. I've checked this. I, I checked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, Governor Jan Brewer referred to Barack Obama as thin-skinned. And you know what? She's 100% correct. She is, yeah. He is a very thin skid man. And, you know, we all know that Obama does not like criticism. He does not take criticism well. You know, he pretends to, you know, but we all know, you know, behind the scenes, Obama has a serious, you know, a serious uh, issue and problem with those who do not agree with him. And we know this. And... She was, you know, in total right. That's her opinion, you know, to 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 view the president as being thin-skinned, which a lot of people do. And I, you know, I would believe the the whole threatened part, feeling threatened, you know, is the fact that okay, he is the president and he is thin-skinned, and he's taking offense to what she you know, described in her book of her meeting with him in 2010 when she went to the White House, you know, feeling threatened in a way, I guess, probably uh, when she used the word threatening, pro probably meant, you know, somewhere on the, on the lines of just, you know, feeling disrespected. I mean, she said that she was in the middle of this, a sentence talking to the guy, and then he just walks off and leave. And that, that right there is totally... Obama 100% and you know the fact that 
you know, Al Sharpton feels the need to turn this into something other than what it is and to make a big deal about this. I mean, we don't even know from that picture and the finger pointing, you know, what the discussion was about, you know, but to try to sit up there and make it out to be, you know, this is disrespectful and we're delegitimatizing. I guess the guy likes to create his own words to make up his own words. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I I really wish Al Sharpton would just shut up. That's my that's you know that's how I feel about him. Um, I agree, I agree. You know, but it, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, what are you gonna do or what are you gonna say? You know, so exactly exactly and i mean this is ridiculous you know and jam brewer you know i i totally 100 percent support her because obama is not in any way shape or form trying to you know secure the borders protect you know the american people protect the people who live in those cities that are you know within 50 to 100 miles of that border you know and you listen to those people this is a serious problem but Obama doesn't see it like that he wants to go sue the state of Arizona you know and good old Al Sharpton you know he's right on board with every stupid decision that Obama makes you can believe Al Sharpton would be right on board Al Sharpton I, I can't, I, I can't stand the guy. I'm telling you right now, he's done nothing for nobody except seize opportunities where he can come in and inject his ridiculous liberal black liberation theology rhetoric at any given opportunity. I mean, he's an opportunist. And, you know, those poverty pimps and race car pullers, that's what they do. They see opportunity and they cease upon it. They cease upon it to spread their stupidity and showcase it for the world to see. Hey, whatever floats your boat, you know. But, uh, <laughs> man, I, I, I really wish he'd shut up. I wish he'd go away. First, cut his perm, and then just go away. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not the only one. <laughs>